Yesterday, I hypothesised cutting off your head to, to prove the point that what was coming out of your larynx up your throat at this stage of the voyage of your voice from your lungs to your lips is actually just that faint tone, a faint sound. So, so what is so what is speech? If if voice is the sound we make, then speech is manipulation of those sounds by our mouth, tongue and lips to create understandable words. Now, if a listener has to work hard to decode your message and understand what it is you're saying, they've less time for the actual content. You're making them work too hard. Our sound vibrations are on their way to becoming voice articulations, and the next stage of the process is to divert some of the pockets of air through the nose and a greater amount through the mouth. Now, both of these places are resonators. They help give your voice body. We know from life that different attributes of an item, so its size, shape, material and so on, affect how round the sound sounds. So, I mentioned this a couple of days ago, let's mention it again, about the two musical instruments. So, take a violin and a cello, or, or a violin and a trumpet. They can each be played to produce the same note, but the sound from each one is noticeably different in its quality and that's because each one is produced by an instrument made with different material and and it's off that different material whether it be wood or brass that the sound reverberates and they're both a different size and a larger cavity creates a more full sound yeah it's not a deeper tone it's not a deeper note it's a more full sound and different sized openings and exits create a different sound as well of the same note. Larger holes produce a sound which is more rounded. Think of a tuba as opposed to a trumpet. And also what affects the sound are the constrictions and manipulations that the sound encounters along the way from input to output. So a long straight tunnel will resonate sound in a different way to one with several side tunnels and chambers, for example. So think of a trumpet versus a trombone or a tuba. Yeah, the different manipulations, the different journeys that sound has to make before it's exposed to the outside world. So why am I going through all of this written with help from my West End performing violinist, lead violinist goddaughter, incidentally, who helped me out with that. Well, each human can say the same thing, but with a voice that resonates in a uniquely different way. The sound produced at the vocal folds is enriched and enhanced as it travels through various parts of your body. And because each of us is a different shape, a different weight, a different kind of makeup. I don't mean on the on the front of your face, but how the different tubes, the different chambers, the different tunnels, the different caves in our body are created, uh, particularly how we were born, but also maybe how we exercise, what we eat, whether we smoke, and, and the damage that we've done already to our vocal folds and other parts of our body, Yeah, whether we got a cold or not. All of that means that the voice that you create is almost unique to you. Clever stuff, huh? That's why we sound slightly different. I'm Peter Stewart. Thanks for the loan of your ears, from ears to voice. And we'll continue with our aim to get you a better broadcast, podcast and video voice tomorrow as we say hello to Tone. <laughs>